All right, guys, go to Boy32 here. Check it out. Sitting in my office having a cup of coffee. It's about 530 in the morning, getting ready to get my day started. But before we do that, I wanted to respond to an email that I received from a gentleman named Moneybags. He's one of my good friends that I do a lot of shooting with in the great commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Now, just to let everybody know, I don't live in Pennsylvania. I live in North Carolina, but I work in Pennsylvania. A lot of people thought I lived in Massachusetts, but I do not. Just because you don't live in a state doesn't mean you can't help protect it. So Moneybag sent me an email. And this is one of the great things about our community is a lot of you guys are sending me emails. JB, you know who you are. You're sending me emails. I just received a notice this morning from a gentleman who said Rhode Island or another state is trying to initiate an assault weapons ban. And that's why we're here. We're going to talk about the assault weapons ban. And unfortunately, this involves the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. Now, Pennsylvania has got two different areas, three different areas that I, I have to keep in mind. You've got Philadelphia. You've got Pittsburgh. And in between, you've got a lot of people who love their guns and love their hunting. Uh, there's a gentleman named Wayne D. Fontana. He's a senator from District 47 out of, I'm going to say, Pittsburgh. Now, I'm going to put his picture up right here. He's a neat-looking fella. Anyway, he is initiating legislation to create an assault weapons ban and a magazine capacity uh, limitation, as well as a couple other things. And so, assault weapons ban is nothing, nothing new. There's a lot of places that are trying to do that. Uh, so... Why is this different? The reason for this video, and I'm not just sitting here going, oh, we need to do all this and cry and send your, yeah, we need to do that. You need to send your senators, your state, everybody is bitching, moaning, and groan, because ultimately what my thoughts are is that there was a reason that Hillary Clinton lost in Pennsylvania, because you've got the big cities here and here, but in between are all these folks, no matter what their affiliation is to a party, they love their guns. And when Hillary Clinton is anti-Second Amendment, that is what will keep people off. I don't care if you're a left-wing socialist pig. If you love your guns, you're going to vote for the gun guy. And here we are with a guy from Pittsburgh who is going to initiate an assault weapons ban. Now, he did an op-ed, and I want to read that to you because what I, I want you to take notice of are the words that this guy uses, okay? Okay. Um, so here it is. This is an op-ed column by State Senator Wayne Fontana. Now, this is pretty interesting the way he does this thing. Starts off, Americans are fed up with this nation's gun violence epidemic. It's intolerable. Well, yeah, we totally agree with you, Wayne. It is intolerable. There are things that can be done about it. But an assault weapons ban is not one of them. It goes on. The words that are used in this op-ed, I don't know where he, he either had to hire somebody to come up with the stuff, I, or he spent a lot of time applying acronyms and, and just the, uh, the script is in here. Horrific accounts of deranged mass murderers using military-grade assault weapons and the indiscriminately sprayed bullets into crowds of innocent people has become part of the regular news cycle. Lives are lost, families are destroyed, and communities are paralyzed. You're not wrong, okay? But what I am getting at is the incredible picture that you were painting of an AR-15, an American sporting rifle. It is a sporting rifle. It, the only difference between that and any other rifle is that it is black. It looks funny, okay? It's time for reasonable people to find reasonable solutions. And I guess it's, it's a unique decision on what you define as reasonable. Okay, moving on. We must take strong steps to prevent gun violence and mass shootings by banning combat-grade semi-automatic weapons from civilians. Okay, let me clue you in on something, dude. Combat-grade and semi-automatic weapons, totally different things. Okay, those two sentences are a lie. You are lying to the public, and whoever is sitting here believing you, and some people do. I had some one guy left me, as a matter of fact, I, the videos I'm doing now, I'm getting so much hate, but not the, the, the Second Amendment people are fine. But the foul language that come out of these other people is absolutely nuts. During my years as co-chair of the Senate Game and Fisheries Committee, all right, this is a good one. I had the opportunity to meet often with law-abiding hunters, sportsmen, and gun enthusiasts. Very few believe that assault weapons have any practical or rational use. Line these people up. I want to know the two people that you talk to. Because here's the thing, Mr. Hunter. If you think for one second that that deer rifle slash combat sniper rifle, because that's what it'll end up being next, if you think about it, 
You've got your deer rifle, hunting rifle, oh, innocent hunting rifle, bolt action, combat sniper rifle. Okay, so you better get in on the party if you're not on it because you're next. Politic <laughs> All right, so moving on. Politics, extremist, extremist views must be put aside. Lawmakers must come together to find reasonable, workable solutions. Okay, here's what his bills a ban, ban the sale and use of 150 different models of military grade semi automatic. He keeps on saying military grade, these are not military grade, jackass. Military grade's got a little sear in there that can go full auto, a three-round burst. You don't know the difference. And people who go, these are military grade weapons of war. No, they're not. They're just a simple, simple semi-automatic firearm. I wish somebody would educate these people. Okay, semi all right, ban the sale and use of 150 different models of military grade semi-automatic assault weapons, as well as gun magazines that have a capacity of more than 10 rounds. Do that in Pennsylvania. That won't happen. There are too many state senators who are in congressmen who are in the in-between. Now, I don't know what you're trying to do here, but it ain't going to fly. Empower family members to petition a court to temporarily suspend an individual's access to firearms if they prove, if they prove, if they can prove, that the person is a threatening harm to themselves or others. The guy down in Florida was reported to the local authorities 36 times or if not more. From now I'm hearing. Scott Israel, you got to go. My assault weapons ban proposal would mirror the law enacted in Connecticut after Sandy Hook. Yada, yada, yada. These military grade weapons have no legitimate place in civilian life. They have no per useful purpose for hunting or self-defense. That again, lies. This guy is creating a picture. Why would you think that this firearm is not for self-defense? It is my preferred weapon for self-defense. They are designed to slaughter masses of people quickly. It sickens me that an 18-year-old teenager was able to illegally obtain such a deadly weapon with ease. Here again, Mr. Fontana, you need to go back to the local sheriff's department where the kid was reported over 36 times and they did nothing. The FBI had a report on this kid and they did nothing. All right. So anyway, I'm going to put the link down to this op-ed below. If you guys want to blow this guy's email up to help yourself, but I would suggest that folks in the great sovereign, uh, what do you call this thing? The um, uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, reach out to him. And let him know your thoughts on this assault weapons ban and his his stories. Uh, the military style weapon, all, all this painting a picture of a firearm that all it does is it resembles a firearm. If a guy had a car and was painted up like a race car, it doesn't have 800 horsepower. It's probably got 270, 300 horsepower. Just because it's painted up to look like one doesn't mean it is one. Teach these people the difference. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. I'm sorry to ramble on about this, but Pennsylvania, you people need to come together and fight this cat. Code Boy 32, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you got any other stuff that you'd like me to read off or, or discuss or go off while I'm on my rants, email them, codeboy32 at gmail.com. Support the red, white, and blue. Mine's right there. Code Boy 32. God bless America. God bless those men, women, in uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom's not free. It's going to be a long day. It's Code Boy 32. Out.